Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna get right into it and block out them brows with a glue stick as usual. And we're gonna take our Mayron Paradise paint palette that I got from Amazon with all them colors in it. And we're gonna take that yellow and mango color mixed, mixed together, mish, 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 mixed together and outline our jawline and around our face to make our face look a little oval or more round than it does. We're gonna let that dry a little bit while we press in that air spun powder on our brows to set those and then dust it off before we go in with that clown white paint, which is super, super thick. So what you wanna do with the clown white paint is press it in first, don't drag it. And then I go in with a wet damp sponge, wet damp, <laughs> with a sponge and I blend in that yellow and white together. I set that clown white with some air spawn also. And then we're gonna take our basic white, our basic brights. Girl, get it together. From P. Louise base, we're gonna take that red one to outline the lips because our lips are gonna be red, so. Now we're just gonna go in with that black paint and we're gonna outline the clown face. Make sure you take a thin brush and take your time because on top of that white, that black will show through. So as you can see that I am taking it very, very slowly and I make sure that it looks even on both sides so we don't look like a real clown, but we look like a professional clown. We're also going to use that black to outline the mouth and the clown face. So we're going to take that black and use it everywhere. I'm just gonna take that beach berry from the same palette and color in actually just color in just the edges on the top and then we're gonna blend it out with some shadows but i wanted that red base up under those shadows because it makes it look so much more prominent take that lime green to carve out the nose i'm just using my nose shape which is a little round so just make it look like your nose but also make it look a little more clown nose Part of the MF in video, that Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia. Yes, though. So we're going to take our first color, which is edges, bitch. But we're going to take edges and pack that on top of the red. Because as you can see, edges is brown, but it does have like a little red hue to it. So it mixes very well with the brown. So now we're going to take our uh, clown white to pack on top. Because we're going to actually do a cut crease. But now I just want to take a little bit so we can get them colors on there. So now we're just blending out with edges also in there. And we're gonna uh, take what's left on the brush to carve out that nose and make our nose look a little bit slimmer. So we're not adding any more powder, just using what we got on there. Now we're gonna take credit and we're gonna pack that on the outer corner to add a little more definition to the corner before we start cutting that crease. My skin is cold, as is my heart. I'm falling apart. With a smile. Take the blue from the bright basics, the basics bright P. Louise base, and we're gonna actually carve out the bottom lash line. I'll also put it on my lash line, and we're gonna take it down a little bit. And we're also gonna do a little dry brushing, which is the paint is still a little wet, so we're just gonna take our dry brush and just smooth out those edges. We're also gonna take it on top, also, it actually makes it easier to blend the shadows in. So, just a little tip for you guys. Once I do that, I just packed on a little bit more of the credit. So now we're gonna take Draw Breaker from Jeffree Star. And the first color we're gonna use is Brain Freeze, which is that powder blue. And we're gonna set that blue base first before we go in with another blue color, which is Soaked, which is super blue. Oh my God, that color, Jeffree Star, I can't say enough. if you take a fluffy brush to blend those blue colors in together it makes it look a little more gradient effect 
So now we're going to take that credit and then define that nose arch a little bit more right at that little top. And then now we're going to take clown white to cut that crease. So take your freaking time with that. And then we're going to take our virgin white color from the jawbreaker palette and just on the inner corner. And we're just going to pack it on so it'll set that clown white. And then we're going to go in with edges on the middle part of the eye. And then we're going to go in with credit on the outer eye. But I also use ginger, which I didn't put in the video, to actually blend the white and credit. I mean the white and edges together. But I did not put that in the video. But I did use it. So now we're going to take that true trust issues on that white top so we can make it a little more glittery because we are a glam clown, you know? So now we're going to pack on that virgin white as like a little highlight for the nose. My skin is cold, as is my heart. I'm falling apart with a smile. My bridges are burning, I'm holding At the last minute, I did decide to add a wing because I thought the eye was just missing something. Even if I put lashes on, I just thought it was just missing something. So I just used the black paint. So now we're going to go on with that soft glam palette, that noir black. And we're going to actually set the lid uh, liner because that's a super, super black. That one and the one from Makeup Geek, I can't think of the name, but that one's super black. Can I stress this enough? When you're using that black, use a small brush and take your time. Now we're uh, just taking a smudger brush and I'm gonna smudge the edges of just about all the black lines with the black shadow so we can blend those colors together because it, it makes it look more gradient. So we're just gonna take that everywhere. I'm also just taking just a smaller smudger brush on the mouth part though. I'm going with edges just to blend that black out. I actually did credit and then edges to make it a more gradient effect. But now we're just trying to make it blend. But on the mouth, I'm just using edges because we're going to go in with another color to set the whole mouth. So now we're going to take that sour green from the Jeffree Star palette and set the nose, which it was the same color. But now we're just going to go in with Wigglies and set that mouth right. As you can see, that shiny, shiny red. Look at it. It's amazing. And then I'm also just taking Delicious from the palette, the Jeffree Star palette, on the black line. And then we're going to blend it out with Soaked. And then we're also going to blend it out with Brain Freeze to make it a more gradient effect. So I did do that, as you will see, that it is a little more gradient. So now we're going to go in with that uh, black paint again and draw on some hearts instead of rosy cheeks. I'd rather have hearts. Since we are an old tag clown, I'm gonna take a thin liner brush and we're just gonna draw the crack cracks on with the, we're gonna use credit first and then I'm gonna go in with the noir color as you can see later in the video to make it look a little more defined. But at first we're just gonna take the brown, see where we needed it. And now this is a green, I don't remember the name of it from Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna take that on the outer edge of my nose to actually define the nose a little bit more because I just look a little flat to me. And we're also gonna uh, take that fine saucer from the Alien palette from Jeffree Star to blend the greens together and to make my nose look a little more popped. We're gonna take abduction right in the center. And as you can see, it is more gradient and it doesn't look as flat. So now we're gonna use that white from the Mayron palette just to add a little highlight here and there. So to make us look more like a clown, I'm also going to just take 
a big brush and just put some dots on my face. I'm actually taking the Beachberry, the Lagoon Blue, and I'm going to use just the regular Amazon Green from the Main Round Palette just to make us look like a little clown. And so now we're going to take those yellow colors on our shoulders and our chest. So when we put our wig on, we don't look crazy. So I take it, I do take it behind my ear, as you can see, because you can see it when I put my wig on. But you're going to do that, let it dry, because I put too much water on it. And then we're going to add to add the dots on the chest, too. I did add a little bow. I don't know why. I just thought I needed something on the chest other than that. But, you know, it is what a T.I. is. gonna go in with i'm just gonna put a little small dots with a smaller brush on the face at first it's gonna be more black dots because why not and then i do add a pops of color with the white and i do a green yellow blue the red but you can really just see the white and yellow more prominently but as you can see i do add all the colors so now we're just going to go in with a few more finishing touches to add some definition somewhere with that black color on the mouth Yeah, that took a long time so now i'm just adding a few more finishing touches just a little dots where i think i need them and then we're gonna add our lashes and then we're gonna add our wing you see my little bow i don't know why i did that but it's on there so now we're gonna make our wig look a little crazy but don't you know don't worry about that we'll fix it later and that is the look let me know if you love it or if you love it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me on the gram